G'day everybody and welcome to SNL TV. This week's a very special edition. We're out at Lindhurst Marriott Waters Reserve for the 2016 WorkSafe AFL Victoria Community Championships. The Southern Football Netball League will host the Allen Bank and District Football League in senior and under 18s football competitions here today, as well as the Allen Bank and District Netball Association in A grade, B grade and under 19 level as well promises to be a fantastic day. Mother Nature's turned on another ripper for us here today. It's a massive crowd building. Let's get stuck into it. It's customary every week for Espinel TV to speak to the host club's president. But in this case, I've gone straight to the top with the Espinel hosting. I have with me the uh, the chairman of the Southern Football Na Netball League, David Coots. Cooter, welcome to SNL TV, mate. Thanks, Will. Thanks for having us. Uh, great to be here, and uh, I think uh, Mother Nature's certainly turned on a perfect day for us. About time she did, mate. Now, it's uh, it's a massive day for the league. We've got uh, the under-18 footy going on at the moment. The uh, A-grade netball about to start behind us. Massive day for the league. A huge day for the league, and especially the new format, which... Uh, is a whole new change this year with the uh, SFNL, or sorry, the uh, AFL Victoria uh, interleague concept, which is uh, statewide now. So we get to play the Allen Bank League today in both football and netball, which uh, for us is absolutely ideal, and we are hosting today. So for us, it's an amazing opportunity. We get to showcase one our league and also a fantastic facility out here at, uh, at Lindhurst. They've done a good job putting it on, haven't they? They have so far. Uh, we've still got a little bit to go, but uh, the, the club and the committee can certainly put the, give themselves a little pat on the back. And uh, unfortunately for most of our clubs, I think they're all in a bit of shell shock at the, uh, the two grounds, the brand new netball courts, great facilities, and um, wondering what we have to do to uh, get these in the city of Kingston, I think. It's, uh, but no, fantastic day, so we'll see what happens. And your expectations for today, a couple more Southern wins? Oh, well, it's great to see the under-19 netball girls get a win. Um, unfortunately, the B grade went down in a close one. Uh, but hopefully for our A grade girls, they certainly deserve a win. And uh, hopefully last Friday night at Northern was a bit of a tune-up. And I don't see a six-foot-six girl out there. So hopefully uh, that's a good sign for us. No, good stuff. Hope you enjoy your day, Curta. Very well, and uh, thanks very much for everything as always, mate. Doing a great job on social media. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. is Vice-Captain Sophie O'Shea. I have with me now former St Kilda champion, now coach of the Allen Bank and District Football League, Austin Jones. Ozzy, welcome to SFNL TV. Thanks for having me. It's, uh, it's a big day here. Welcome to the SFNL, first off. Yeah, uh, ripping day for it. Uh, weather, weather's good. A little, little bit breezy, but obviously um, huge facility here at Marriott Waters. A um, couple of grounds, which is good for warm-up. Just having a look at the netballers at, at the moment. So, uh, great day uh, put on by the league. Yeah, appreciate the kind words. Not far for you guys to travel either. Uh, it's good for us. Uh, we're, just, we're just down the road. A few of our boys actually live this side of, uh, of the Allen Bank League. Um, I'm in the heart of it in, in Bunyip. It took me about 40 minutes. So, uh, couldn't, uh, can't complain. Obviously, uh, we hope it's a, an evenly matched uh, game, but obviously with the, the new changes with uh, Country versus Metro, we won't know till about five o'clock. And you're going for four straight into league wins. Tell us a little bit about your side. You've had some success in recent years. Yeah, so I had them last year and they had a couple of wins uh, prior. The, the league's made a real commitment into league. They're really, really keen to, I suppose, let it let it out there that um, the, the league's really improved over the last few years. We had a great win up at Maryborough last year. Um, probably like every interleague side, we're probably half a dozen away from our absolute best, but we've picked a really strong squad. Um, we are a, a team. We're really united. Um, we've sort of uh, made sure they don't bring their egos along and, and play like a club brand of, of footy. So we're excited. We've got no excuses. Fantastic. Hope it all goes well for you today. Can't wait, guys. Cheers, mate. 
And with me now is the captain of the Southern Football Netball League's senior footy team, Tony Lavers, the uh, Dingley captain as well. Tony, welcome to the show. Thanks, mate. Must be a real big honour to captain your league at uh, representative level. You must be stoked. Mate, it is. It's, uh, it's an opportunity I had, uh, had uh, done for a long time. I uh, haven't played interleague probably since I was 16. Um, to have the captaincy on top of that, um, huge thrill, uh, huge privilege as well. Big crowd out here today. You'd be uh, hoping for a big performance from, from your group today? Yeah, absolutely. I was a bit worried the size of the ground, um, how small the crowd might look. But, um, you know, the last couple of years haven't gone our way with uh, with pretty ordinary results, so it's our uh, responsibility to change that. You've got a good side out there that you're taking control of today, Tone, so you must be confident that uh, you guys might be able to sneak home. Yeah, certainly, mate. There's a lot of quality players um, from our final 23. We've got leaders on every line, so it won't just me leading the way. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, no excuses. We've got a pretty good team. Thanks, mate, and uh, best of luck today. He got it from Horton Milne. The kick is a short one. That's OK to Jared Allen. The start from St Paul's goes inside 50. The kick was partly smothered. It works its way, though, all the way to half forward. Stepping out of traffic and through traffic for a goal. And the Southern Football League get the first on the board. And that took 38 seconds. And Paul, though, gets it over the top to Northover. Northover goes back with the ball. Goes back to Gray. Danger. This might be trouble, as uh, you heard Johnny say. Turnover from Perryman. They can go forward through Frost. He can take the shot at goal. He does. He's not going to get there. Hampton's there. Does he get his boot oh, to the goal? He's got the goal. Oh, he's he's the the goal. goal. Oh. He's Joel Jones Hampton. He got his hands to the footy. You thought it was going to go through for a behind, but he's managed to stick out the right the half volley. Daisy cutter. They pick it up in the end. And they'll get a kick that doesn't quite carry the oh. ball. Goes over the back. Here's an opportunity for Thompson at the uh, forward end of the field this Perryman. time. And Perryman runs in left foot snap and kicks the goal. Just get a handball back in the corridor. Now just a little knock forward. It's just real aerial ping pong stuff at the moment. They go this away or that away. And then they get a kick in towards for foot. Oh! What a specky. I think it might have been Jackson Smith, was it? Or Pat Carroll. Carroll. <laughs> Out of the Southern Football Netball League, best on ground, from Oakley District, number 16. Uh, I may not want to call upon Espinel Skipper, Tony Labors, to come up and uh, collect the silverware with, uh, with, with Lockers. Well done, boys. Congratulations again to the Southern Football Netball League for their victory today. And thank you, everyone, for turning up. And I'm joined by a very jubilant Southern Football Netball League outfit, Captain Tony Lavers, Coach Ben Lockwood, and best on ground, Paddy Carroll. Paddy, we'll start with you. What a tremendous performance from yourself. Yeah, thanks, mate. Just went out there to get a kick, and it was good team effort to win, get the win today. And how, how, how good are the beers tasting in the rooms after such a such a win? It's been a while. Yeah, very good. So, absolutely great. I bet. And, uh, Tony, you've led from the front for throughout the entire campaign. How, how's that feeling from you as captain? Mate, it's just it's a great reward for the guys who have made the commitment five weeks ago. Uh, that was the only request I sort of had as captain when Locke was announced on the first night is that the guys commit to the cause. And I can't fault anyone's commitment. So to get a win after the last couple of years for the boys, hopefully it's a great incentive for the other players to get on board next year. And you seem to have the uh, the dominance throughout most of the day. Was there a point where you, Tone, sort of knew you had it in the bag? Oh, look, we were going well at half-time. Um, and once we sort of put another couple on them in the third quarter, we were pretty confident after that. And to you, Lockers, that's a very nice piece of silverware. I'm not sure why I'm holding it, but yeah, mate, it's good. Um, look, just pleasing for, the, pleasing for the competition and pleasing for the guys that actually committed the time and effort to do it. It, it takes a bit of bit of time and effort out of their normal weeks at Clubland and so on like that so mate I'm just wrapped for them um, wrapped for the league and, and look hopefully as Tone really touched on in the rooms after the game hopefully this now starts to build momentum and guys absolutely want to be involved in it that's the key um, if we can make guys or guys get involved and they all want to be here look it's going to be competitive for spots and you know, we can go places it, it, southern footy is not as bad as people say it's it's good standard and you know Today probably proved that, I think, because we uh, you know, played really well across the board. It was a fantastic effort. Southern certainly going places. 
Yeah, let's hope so. Yeah, without doubt, it's um, look, it's got a lot younger the demographic of the comp, and uh, I think it's it showed today. We had a pretty young list, and across the board, all 23 blokes uh, couldn't be more prouder of them. Absolutely, well done to you three guys. You've all done the uh, the Southern Football Netball League very proud. I'm now joined by the league CEO, David Kinitzo, who fair dinkum hasn't let go of that trophy since we got it. David, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Will. Yeah, look, I, I haven't. I went straight in the rooms afterwards for two reasons. One, yes, I was very happy about it, but uh, importantly, I know what happens to these trophies if you if you let the boys uh, take it with them on a Saturday night out. So, yeah, look, very pleased. Uh, what, a, what a fantastic effort um, over the... Oh, look, the last... I, was, I said in the rooms afterwards, the last six to eight months... Um, where the preparation began for this. We, we first uh, communicated with the, the playing squad late last year um, throughout the finals. And from there, it's been um, nothing but uh, a fantastic buy-in from the people that have been keen to, um, to, to buy into the program. We had uh, 24 blokes out there today that really wanted to be part of it. You could see that from the football that was played. So yeah, delighted. Can't wipe the smirk off, the smirk off my face, obviously. No, absolutely. It's it's uh, it's been a while between drinks. Success has eluded us for a number of years. What does this victory mean for the Southern Football Netball League? Yeah, look, look, it has. And look, the one thing I, I touched on again in the room was that I, I think as a as a competition, our clubs have worked really hard on improving everything about what they do, from from their their off field running to to on the field, the the environment that they create. As a league, we've done the same. We want to engage better with our people, um, from the way that we communicate. Um, on our social media, the way we put on the events. But the one thing that um, it takes to, to properly resonate is a win, and as simple as it sounds. And I think people will see this in the paper tomorrow, people will hear about this, and they will now understand that Southern are coming and we are truly owning the South. Absolutely. Thanks for your time, Dave. Thanks, Will. What a fantastic day it was here at Lindhurst. The Southern Football Netball League victorious in the under-19s netball competition and, of course, the senior footballers getting the job done over Allen Bank and District Football League in the AFL Victoria WorkSafe Community Championships. The boys are absolutely wrapped, as you just saw. They're celebrating long and hard in the rooms. It's a massive night and it means so much to all the players that invested so much time into this program and for the netballers too. Congratulations to every single player from the Southern League that represented the league today with distinction. And again, congratulations to the boys for taking home the uh, much-deserved silverware. That's all we've got time for. We'll see you again on SFNL TV next week.